it's Stephanie at Coffee, Paper, Scissors. I have a Thrifty Thursday today. It has been so long since I've done a Thrifty Thursday. I used to go out and find lots of things at the thrift stores, and now I feel like I go and I find one or two things. So I put them away and, you know, then it's over. But I went to my friend's house yesterday because, I don't know if you remember, but I told you guys about my friend Donna who had had... Um, water leak in her upstairs and it leaked down into the basement destroyed so much and so they've been dealing or had been dealing with uh, the construction or fixing of the problem and getting new flooring and all this stuff done and it took months you guys uh, for them to finally finish but they're all done and so now she's going through her craft room and um, getting rid of some things and so I went over there yesterday to see if I wanted any of it so this is just a roll of paper but it's really big stuff, and this is kind of fun, actually. I, I thought it was thinner than it is, so this is kind of fun paper, but look at this giant um, grid paper. So there's that. And then I have quite a bit. She gave me this. She's um, She does um, crocheting and stuff. She can make little doilies and things like that. She's very talented, but she said, you know, she has so much of it. So she gave me some of this. She actually said it's pretty good for sewing and signatures. So got that. She gave me a whole bunch of Christmas um, odds and ends. So I don't want to go through all of them, but these are so fun just to add little bits and pieces to your, your Christmas journals. So that's cool. Lots of those. Make sure that I'm in camera. Um, she gave me a package of different colors of, you know, little paper bags. And of course, when I'm done showing you guys, I have to figure out where to put it all. And there's a smaller um, set of bags also. So that's cool. There's blue and green, a lighter blue, white. And then there's actually two different colors of craft. Very cute. This is a perfect size for a journal page. And then she's working on a journal right now for a family member who had a baby. And that's going to keep on going if I don't just cut that. So she has fabrics out. So she gave me some of her fabric that she's currently working with. I love these really tiny little prints. I know some people don't like those tiny prints, but I love them. Okay, so there's some fabric. And... I have a box. Ooh. Okay. She gave me two empty three ring binders. <laughs> you guys know how I love making three ring, three ring binder journals. So I was excited about those. I was like, yes, ma'am, I'll take those. Uh, I actually look for these at the thrift stores um, in the food section and I have a hard time finding them so I'll be able to make a couple journals with those and I they weren't full of papers and that's kind of a good thing because sometimes um you don't know what to do with all those papers look at this that's a lot of maps it's from 1990 And let me see where we are here. Okay, yeah. So, I love this. She's like, I bought this when it was new, and I don't know. I'm having a hard time. So, I, I kind of feel the same way about it. It's really, really pretty um, ideas, and I don't know. Well, I don't know if this is so pretty. Where'd it go? Sometimes... The colors were just so, I mean, look at that. Where did that go? I just want to see it real quick. Where did it go? Just know. 
Can I just say no on that? Absolutely not. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> All right, anyway, so there's a fun needle crafts book. And then, so this, um, a project a week, crafty project. The pages are not shiny, you guys. How exciting. Or something. Oh. Um, so I think these will be really fun in, I don't know what kind of journals, but I just really liked that the pages are not shiny pages. Definitely a 90s craft type thing. This is during the year 2000, so just past the 90s. Here's another one, Crafty Kids Making Christmas Merry. So, well, that one actually has some wrapping paper in it. And red apron pattern. But again, no, no, this one has shiny pages in it, but I really like making those really big um, Christmas journals. And so I thought some of the pages would be really fun because I've really been cutting up my Christmas books lately for those big pages that I like to make. Um, this one is a Christmas project one, but it's the dull paper again. Okay. And then she gave me a couple of uh, crochet knit, all that, you know. I don't do any of this. I tried. It's not my forte. I suppose if someone sat down with me, I could I could do it. But I had somebody try and teach me once where she was giving me instruction. And I'd go home and try it. And I'd get very frustrated. So, I don't know. But anyway, fun for sewing journals. And then just a couple of organi organization and storage magazines. These ones are just for me to look through because, you know... It's always fun to think about new storage. And then she gave me, oh, at first I was thinking it was, you know, what was in there, but no, she gave me a couple of six by sixes of um, Christmas paper. So those will be good. Make big pockets or something with those. These are, she actually gave me some of these in the past, and I think I'm all out of them. So <laughs> she probably gave me the rest of her stash. Anyway, I don't know if they are supposed to go in like that or what, but I don't know. I've used them in lots of different ways um, over the few years um, since she gave me some originally. And then looks like these are little card bases. be able to figure out something to do with those. What else? Decorate and paint. So this might be fun for like a home type journal. To put fun, fun pictures in there. I always thought it would be so cool to have a painted wood floor. I mean, but you'd have to do it on gnarly wood, so you wouldn't want to paint over nice wood. Okay, so there's that. And then I might have this book, but I love home decorating books. I don't necessarily use the ideas, but I like to just sit and look through them. And I look at the way people, like where they place things, not necessarily what they're decorating with, but um, to try and get an idea of space and how the things work together. Yeah. Again, I've said this many times, this is more my style with like the, the heavier colors and 
I used to actually do this quite a bit with lots of things hanging on the wall. I don't have as much as I have had in the past. I have a whole bunch of holes in my walls though. <laughs> I fill them, you know. That's really pretty too. I like that a lot. Anyway, so there's a fun book to look at. And this is just a little storage thingy. So I thought that'd be fun to put in my little drawer right next to me with little pieces in it so I don't always have to get up and dig. Look at these. They are clothespins, those little mini clothespins, and they have the numbers on them, which would be fun to use, but I actually thought I would cover these with paper and use them on the edge of a book. Maybe. And just some little beads. Beads. Sounded like I said bees. What else? Apparently I gave these to her, but I don't even really remember that. And she gave them back to me. So that's fine because, oh, oh, I guess there are more things in it. There are more bags. I didn't open it. And then some little labels. Oh, wait, Donna, there's a whole bunch of paper in it. Did you realize that? Look at all that paper. I thought it was all files. Donna, if you didn't mean to give me all this paper, just let me know and I'll give it back to you. And then there are files underneath it. Um, so I'm actually getting close to being out of files. And so I use them to back tags and things like that. So that'll be good. But yeah, Donna, let me know if you didn't mean to give me all of that cardstock. But if you did, thank you. I'm sure I will use it. And then, I don't know if I'll use this or not, but I thought, you know, I'll grab it just in case. I don't have um, pens and things like that, lots of them, but I thought I've been thinking about needing some. You know, I need them so badly. And I thought this would be a fun little thing to have to hold them. It, it's, it's something that I guess you can sit um, you can sit it up so that while you're working, you have all of your stuff kind of just right there. But I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I thought, you know what, I'll just grab it. And if I don't, then I'll get rid of it. And then she said that she bought, there was a frame that she found and she liked the frame and this was in the frame. And so I took this because I thought, you know, you could cut it up and make tags out of it with this as the background on the tags or pockets or whatever. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to use. I think it's watercolor paper. Okay, so there's that. And then the final things are these tear rulers. Donna has been doing crafty stuff for a long time, since the 90s. And so I don't know how long she's had some of these things. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see how these work. Let me find some paper real quick. I'm just gonna grab some copy paper uh, because if I were, if I was really going to be tearing anything, it would be something like the thickness of copy paper. So let's just see how they work. Actually, I have my little stamping foam. I was using stamps yesterday. That's pretty good, right? Let's use the big side and see how it looks. See, I see these things and I think, oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna follow the pattern. Look at that. I'm excited. Okay, so there's one. There were a couple of others, but I didn't take those because they were like um, a big zigzag and I didn't think I would ever use those. Let's try this one. So this is their plaid essentials. They're probably from forever ago, 2004 it says. So if it's something you wanna look on Etsy to see if they have, not Etsy, um, like eBay or something. 
this one is taped closed. Donna, did you ever use it? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it's been out before. Maybe. Oh my goodness, it's stuck. I want to see what it looks like. It's um it's stuck to the plastic. There. Okay. Now I'm not sure there's probably some use for that thing in the middle. I don't know what it is. Look at that. These are pretty cool, Donna. Are you sure? <laughs> this one's coming out easier, it seems. Now this with the really big swirl. So the smaller ones, I feel like they're gonna work easier, but the big ones, I feel like they're gonna be harder to do. How, you guys, they're, they're pulling, like, it's really pretty clean. I'm surprised. I know that I shouldn't be so impressed. <laughs> They've been around forever, but I haven't had any. I'm in love. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Thank you, Donna. That's all that I have to show you guys, I think. Yes, my box is now empty. Um, but these are really exciting. So, oh, um, Thrifty Thursday. I haven't done it in so long. It's hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. And then I think there's a hashtag. Like I said, it's been forever. So I used to put a link, but I think there's a hashtag or something like that. So I'll do that and you can go and see what other people have shared today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.